それでは第1回2年 A 組プチかくれんぼ大会を始めたいと思いますパチパチパチパチパチパチパチパチ You invited Genki too? うんなんかめっちゃ参加したそうだったからそれでは本大会の主催者から一言お願いしますえ,えー、っとどうも球技は苦手なのでかくれんぼって言ったらこんなことになってしまいましたいいじゃん別にかくれんぼでも十分楽しそうだってひまひまだといいんだけど So, hide and seek was Himari's suggestion, huh? <laughs> まあ遊びなんだし勝ち負けとかは関係のない方向で行こうよ We have six participants in total Taking a quick survey around, it's Momo, Genki, Nonomura, Mochizuki and Himari And then counting me, we have six なんか少ないわねもっと他に呼べばよかったのにあんまり人数多いと鬼が探すの大変だからねあと男子が多くなるとひまひま緊張するし人のせいにしないでよ Our rules are simple Those who aren't it will find a location somewhere within this courtyard to hide and the player who is it will count to 200 before opening their eyes and going to look for them We didn't really decide on a fixed time limit but I guess 30 minutes max for one round is reasonable Oni wa dou yatte kimeru na? Oi wa kakureru hou ga suki nan da ke do Um, watashi mo Sore wa mochiron janken To, iitai tokoro da ke do Kyo no oni wa watashi ga yaru wa Hima hima ga kakurenbo to kuchi ni shita toki wa Warai ga tomara na katta ke do Watashi oni ni wa jishin ga aru no ええそうよだから全員手加減はなしで全力で隠れなさいたとえどんなところに身を潜めていようと私が全力で見つけ出してあげる<笑><笑>これは宣戦布告ってやつね僕絶対に負けないよ俺もここまで言われると本気にならざるを得んな Each present member accepts Nonomura's declaration of war. This may be just a game, but I am not about to lose without a fight. Damn, I'm already kinda hyped up before the game's even started. So, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. So, I'm going to go to the next one. Start! She wastes no time in beginning her count. We have 200 seconds, so that gives us plenty of time to hide. Sate, Boku, a Dokuni Kakrioka na. Oriwa mo ikse. Genki wastes no time in making his move. He was basically gone in an instant, so I guess he already had a place to hide in mind. Watashi, safe kuga yogore de bashiwa, zetta ni yana no yone. Demo, makeru no no kuyashi shi. ねえねえ、ミノハラさんはどこに隠れるのうーん…ま、まだ考え中かなさすがに隠れんぼなんて子供の時以来だしもしよかったら、二人で同じところに隠れちゃう鬼に見つかりそうになっても、私がおとりになってフォローもできるし<笑>それだと、もちづきさんの迷惑になっちゃうから私は、なんとか一人で頑張ってみるそうならいいんだけど She must be really confident in her hiding skills if she's spending her time worrying about Himari Look girl, this game is serious business If you're over here worrying about others, you'll be the first one out 60162162 Same to you Okay, time to find my place now. Well, truth be told, I already had eyes set on a pretty sweet place right from the moment Nonomura started to count. All ready to go. I've concealed myself perfectly at my place, inside a large heap of waste that's in the middle of the courtyard. 
I say ways, but it's nothing that gross and nasty. It's just stuff the janitor swept up into a pile with a broom, so mainly fallen leaves for the most part. It's really hot and stuffy inside, plus there are some weird bugs crawling around as well, but I'll have to make do with that. Having perfectly concealed myself in that heap, I stay as still as humanly possible and only move slightly to secure myself a gap when I check on Nonomura. From where I'm at, I have an unobstructed view of the entire courtyard. Nonomura is also pretty close by, which enables me to spy on her effortlessly. 154, She's getting closer and closer to the magic number 200. Since I am all ready to go, I switch my focus now to checking on all the others. Observation is absolutely quintessential when it comes to hide and seek. Part of what makes it fun is that you can steal tricks and skills from other people that may have a different mindset than you. Okay, let's start with Himari. No. Mm. What? Is she really planning on hiding right next to Nonomura? Himari is tirelessly carrying over a broken bicycle from one of the edges of the courtyard where it had been left abandoned. She takes the utmost care not to make any loud sounds and as simple as it is, she starts to put up the bicycle near Nonomura. Afterwards, she merely crouches down behind it and hides there without doing anything fancy, but... She she's serious. Any experienced hide-and-seek player will tell you that this can be a very effective tactic when used against the right type of people. The fundamental idea behind this tactic is the expectation that the seeker holds the preconceived notion that nobody would be stupid enough to hide right near her. That notion will cause the seeker to not focus on areas nearby her. Thus, even if Himari does something that would normally give herself away, Nonomura will subconsciously ignore it. She will register the bicycle first, instead of whoever's there, so as silly as it sounds, her brain will automatically ride the spot off thinking it's just a bicycle. Another key component is the fact that the bicycle doesn't completely conceal your body. So as long as you don't move, you can blend in and become part of the bicycle, which allows you to monitor the seeker knowing they won't notice you. That is the greatest reward of this tactic. If you hide yourself at the back of a vending machine, for instance, you'd need to poke out your head whenever you want to check on where the seeker is. What's even more amazing is the fact that she's hiding a literal 7 meters away from Nonomura and can track her every movement without worry of being discovered. Her distance falls slightly out of the range of too far, but still close enough that she registers as too close from the perspective of Nonomura. If she stations herself at too far of a distance, the seeker would naturally come over and investigate, but Himari is hiding behind a bicycle with the wall of the school building to her back. So essentially, whoever's it will think, it's just a bicycle in front of the school building, that's too close, so I don't need to bother checking. And once they've scratched out that location and fallen into the trap, it just makes Himari nearly impossible to find. It's a strategy that doesn't rely on simple hiding location, but instead plays into the mind of the person seeking. This is the famous technique Himadi devised back when we used to play this game together, the can't see the forest for the trees strategy. Even if you know how it works beforehand, you have a hard time actually finding her when you become it. Damn, she's really in it to win it. She is seriously set on taking home the wo- uh, Well, what about the others? <laughs> Genki's taking the simple approach of hiding behind a bench. From the looks of it, he's not concerned about hiding himself completely. Ah, so that's his plan. It seems he's planning to play the style of dynamically changing his spots as the game goes on, depending on where Nonomura goes. I can't deny that Nonomura seems like the simple-minded type, so I doubt she'll have perfect awareness of her surroundings as she searches. That makes this an effective strategy too. And Mochizuki? She's just openly sitting on a courtyard bench with friends drinking tea. H holy hell. By purposely putting herself in plain sight for the seeker in such a blatant fashion, you, in contrast, escape their search criteria. 
In addition, merrily chatting away with friends makes for such a perfectly natural situation, so it also functions as a mental camouflage that protects you from the seeker. Incredible. This is a stunt only feasible by those who have mastered the art of blending in with their surroundings. Now I know why she looked so gleeful when she came up to us and invited us. She's godly at hide and seek. Last but not least, Momo. Momo is sticking to a wall. I guess the reptile lover in him comes out even at times like this. I simply can't find it in me to put his dedicated way of life down. Having finished the count, Nonomura finally starts moving. Oh shit, I need to erase my presence straight away. Nonomura is already underestimating Himari from the get-go. She immediately takes out her cell phone and starts to call someone. Himari's face is covered in rage behind that bicycle. She played you for a goddamn fool, Nonomura! Nonomura is right next to me, talking to herself. It's already been 10 minutes since she started looking, judging by my observations so far. Yeah, I'd say her skill level at seeking is around average. Hide and seek does just seem like a simple walking around and searching game, but it's actually a battle of wits where both the ingenuity and endurance of the players clash. The way things are looking, I give her a minute or two longer before she throws in the towel. Yes. Hmm. Suddenly, Nunamura sits down on the bench furthest from the edge of the courtyard. What's this all about? Got something up her sleeve? Uh, wait, don't tell me. A war of attrition? Is she going for the war of attrition route this early? Apparently, having lost all motivation to keep searching already, Nonomura starts to idly sip on a drink. I can see a look of terror on Himari's face as well, behind the bicycle she's hiding at. I, I can't believe it! If the player who is it goes a decent amount of time without doing anything, the impatient types will naturally get curious about what's going on and poke their heads out. <laughs> Foolish child, you can't live through hide and seek without endurance. There was a time in the past when I endured through 16 hours of hide and seek in the park from 8 in the morning until after 10 at night. I couldn't allow myself to lose focus and slack off for even a moment. That goes for the endurance to stay hidden, the constant grasp of the seeker's position and also the acquisition of food and water. And it was during summer too. Nonomura, if you actively search for them, they'll just change up their location in response to where you go. It's rather difficult to maintain a grasp of your surroundings while you're moving around, so in effect, the strategy Nonomura just used is very effective. This is bad. I need to take her more seriously or I'm done for. It's a damn good thing I was able to discover her true prowess before she found me. But yeah, at this rate it's only a matter of time before the others get found. 
Himari is still staying hidden behind the bicycle, not moving an inch. She is executing that vital hide and seek skill of endurance at full throttle. <laughs> I can find some traces of stress and unrest on her face, so I guess she'd planned on this going a lot easier. Momo is still sticking to a wall, but naturally, Nonomura wouldn't imagine someone is hiding overhead of her. カウント she is certainly a force to be reckoned with. I did technically hide without making any sounds by habit, but I guess this means she still registered that something took place somewhere around her. Now I can't count out the possibility that she'll find me like cake too. The general term bushes is also somewhat associated with leaves, so that'll pretty much be a checkmate for me once she starts to direct her suspicions towards it, since I can't move from my hiding spot. Fucking hell, I'm sweating my ass off inside here and there's all these weird bugs too. It's literally the worst hiding spot from a sanitary perspective. But no matter, I'll take action before I allow myself to get found as easily as Genki. My secret plan. I'll become one with these leaves and grass. I am not about to lose this game, no matter what. Three hours have now passed since the start of our hide and seek game, and Nonomura has finally managed to find both Himari and Mochizuki. なかなか見つけてくれなかったから、私最後は知らない人に混ざって遊んでたんだけど。隠れんぼであんなに堂々としてる人初めて見たかも。いや、二人とも笑ってるけど、残りがマジで見つからないんですけど。だったらもう ここにいる全員で探すか。When I hit myself, I managed to do it when nobody was looking. Yeah, if this goes on too much longer, it'll get late. I might want to come out before too long, or otherwise, I'll seriously start feeling bad for Nonomura. Nonomura and the others scatter in different directions to look for Momo and me. At this point, I've already missed my opportunity to come out. But personally, now that I've come this far, I really don't want to get found before Momo. Fuck everything about this! If only we decided on a time limit before starting, we'd never be in this cursed situation. But hey, on the bright side, the fact that I still haven't been found shows that my hiding skills haven't gotten rusty yet. I'm honestly a little proud of that. Hehehe. <laughs> 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 yeah. In the end, I got found before Momo. Did you find me just now? Guess you got me. Well, nothing I can do about that. I thoroughly brush off the grass, sticking all over my body. You're really something else at this game. I was actually watching you when you carried over the bicycle and hid behind it. Uh, 
Himari and I used to play hide and seek together when we were kids literally all the time. Regardless of who was hiding and who was it, we were usually the only ones who could ultimately find each other. I have a good grasp on the places Himari is likely to hide at, but the same holds true for Himari. We played together for countless years after all. You sure you weren't going all out? You seemed really serious to me. It was just a simple after school game, yet it brought back so many fond, vivid memories from my childhood. The player who was it would make a huge fuss, cause they could never find me. So, it was always Himari who would have to go and find me, wearing a triumphant smile on her face. She never enjoyed tag, being the slow runner that she was, she would always be one of the first ones out. But hide and seek was a whole different story, it was the only game where she truly and honestly got excited and smiled. Nothing would make her day more than when I'd have trouble finding her in a game of hide and seek. And when I was the one hiding, she would always be on her feet, fervently looking for me until the moment I was found. We both changed since then in a multitude of different ways, but this one game of hide and seek we played today really makes me feel like I'm reliving those days again. よし、これで<笑> <笑>誰がそんな名前考えたの <laughs> the can't see the forest for the tree strategy. I was the one who first thought of that name way back in elementary school. She had always been bad at sports for as long as I'd known. But that one trophy of hers had remained bright and shiny, never dulling a bit throughout all the years that have now passed. Uh, what about Momo? <laughs> <laughs>